stars have massive variable sizes and it's very difficult to illustrate this but this is a figure that attempts to do so. Now in the corner down here is the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram that is used to classify the various stars. On the x-axis is the surface temperature and on the y-axis is the luminosity of the star normalized to the sun's luminosity both in logarithmic scales. And the x-axis often is shown reverse but um, this shouldn't be a big problem. Then the main sequence of stars is this one, here are the white dwarfs, and here are the giant stars. Now all the stars that are shown in the HRD diagram here are then shown um, with their relative sizes to each other, stacked above each other to um, show their, uh, their differences. Also in the HRD diagram in here is the real color of their surface, according to their surface temperature. Uh, the smallest star here is Sirius B. This is a white dwarf, this is Sirius B here, and the radius is a little more than 6,000 kilometers, and this immediately reminds us of Earth, which has also a radius of a little more than 6,000 kilometers, but it's even a little bigger than Sirius. So Sirius is really, or Sirius B, is uh, smaller than Earth. Um, and also Sirius B, as being a white dwarf, is at its end of its life, so the smallest star is after it basically collapsed. Um, then there are all these other couple of stars are at various places in the in the HRD diagram. So star a little bigger than, than uh, this um, Sirius B is Scholz star, which is at the beginning of the main sequence here, for example. The same for Wolf 359, um, big defeat against the Borg there. Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our own, and then there is the Sun. So these three stars are all here at the beginning of the sequence, and then here is the, the Sun. So the Sun actually is really quite a very small star, if we look at all the others here. And then there is a Sirius, something like here, and, and, and Algol. So they really follow a little bit um, the HRD diagram, but not, com not com completely. Spica is one of the next, but Eta Carinae, for example, is really a big one, so this is where the sequence here is a little bit broken. Um, Polaris is shown here as well, so this is uh, the, the North Star, basically, and one of the largest stars we know, a red giant, is Betelgeuse, which is up here, and it has a, a diameter of more than 1.2 billion kilometers. And well, this really is mainly to show um, this highly impressive size range of the stars here and also related a little bit to the HRD diagram and their surface color.